हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस दिसर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसीजर फॉर अप्रूवल ऑफ बालाश वाटर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दैट मेक द यूज ऑफ एक्टिव सब्सटेंस दैट इज जी नाइन प्रोसीजर टुडे वीडियो विल बी अबाउट जी नाइन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द जी एट दैट गाइडलाइन फॉर अप्रूवल ऑफ बालाश वाटर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम यू कैन वॉच माई अर्लियर वीडियो आई विल गिव about the g8 detail in my description box so let's talk about the g8 sorry the g9 procedure so g9 procedure mainly talks about the active substance so what is the active substance active substance are defined by the convention as a substance or organism including a virus or a fungus that has general or specific action against harmful aquatic organism and pathogen so very important it means what that as you know i have told you that these are the organisms like cholera toxic algae asian kelp mesen kelp these are the organism which are proven to be invasive in the different marine environment so you have created a chemical or a active substance which can be effective against these organisms okay but you have to see the definition has a very important term that it should have a general or specific action against the harmful aquatic organism means harmful it means it should not be harmful to other aquatic organisms which are not invasive in nature so the organism which has been found out to be invasive in nature it should be effective on that organism it should not be effective against the non invasive organism that is the most important thing of a active substance so what is the active substance we know now but how it is been made so active substance can be prepared by added to the balash water or be generated on board ship so it means that active substance is a chemical or you can say active substance is a substance which can be generated on board ship the effect should be general to the specific organism so you have to create a type of chemicals which will have a effect on only invasive organism it should comply with the d2 compliance so this substance must comply with the balash water convention to comply with the balash water convention that make use of active substance or preparation containing one or more active substance need to be approved by the imo based on the procedure developed by the organization okay the objective of this procedure is to determine acceptability of the active substance in the balash water management system concerning ship safety human health and aquatic or environment so the main aim the main aim of having the active substance is that the active substance you have made you have created active substance which you found that is very good is very good and very effective against the invasive organism okay you have done a good job now but will it is safe for a ship is it safe for human health is it safe for the other aquatic environment that you also have to make sure that you have also have to prove to whom to imo imo have taken the responsibility by its committee member like gsam he have they have given the responsibility to evaluate that the active substance which have been made by the manufacturer is effective against the first invasive organisms second it should comply with the d2 compliance and third it should be safe for the ship it should be safe for the human health it should be safe for the environment so here in this flow chart you can see on the right hand side so the type approval certification of a equipment 
which is not using active substance and here you can see the flow chart of a type approval certificate of a ballast water treatment system using active substance so let's see first this chart as you can see the first question is asked does the system use active substance no it doesn't use active substance so then you please go through land based test and ship boat test okay the manufacturer will be told by the imo or by the administration that if your equipment is not using active substance you please go through the land based test and ship boat test you prove that your equipment is complying with the standard of land based testing and ship boat testing if it is okay you are you are showing that your equipment is performing well against these two tests and complying with the d2 standard okay you will be given type approval certificate by the flag state now if you are using active substance the first question will be said okay you first you have to take basic approval by the imo you have to prove that your active substance is sustainable in nature is not dangerous for the ship safety is not dangerous for the human health is not dangerous for the environment after you proven that by the review by the data by the thing by the by the test result the imo will now give you the good to go for the carrying out the g8 procedure to see how effective your active substances after you undergo the g8 procedure the imo will then finalize the active substance uses after your final approval has been done you will be given type approval certificate so here as you can see in if you are not using active substance you have only undergo land based so ship boat test and you will be given type approval certificate but if you are using active substance you have to undergo two more tests one is the basic approval and other is the final approval basic approval you have to go before the g8 procedure and final approval you have to go after the g8 procedure okay now the fifth point is said the procedure is thus provided as a safeguard for sustainable use of a active substance and is not intended for the evaluation of the efficacy of the active substance effect is very very important point it means that you have created a ballast water treatment system okay you have created a ballast water treatment system but your ballast water treatment system is using a active substance to have a effective treatment of a ballast water now the imo says that how effective your active substance that will be carried out or that will be tested by g8 procedure means in g8 procedure i will test that whether your active substance is effective for complying with the d2 compliance or not but in g9 procedure we are not bother that whether your chemical is effective or not we are bother about the sustainable use of the chemical means if you have using a active substance we are bother that whether your equipment is safe for a ship safe for a human health safe for the environment or not that we are bother in g9 we are not bother that whether your active substance will be good enough for the ballast water treatment plant or not because that will be tested by g8 so if you are using g active if you are using active substance then you have to undergo both g8 and g9 procedure but if you are not using you have only have to go g8 procedure there one okay so that is the thing which we are evaluating the efficacy of active substance effect in g9 but the efficacy of the active substance in complying with the d2 standard is been tested in g8 okay now i have told you the thing till now now what are the data means which we need to provide to the imo so the, is the first thing is the data on effect of aquatic plant in vertebrates other biota including sensitive and representative organism data on mammalian toxicity data on environment effect and effect under aerobic and anaerobic condition is very important means your 
how the active substance is going to behave when it is subjected to aerobic condition and when it is subjected to anaerobic condition because it may happen that i am using an active substance and that active substance when subjected to anaerobic condition it may turn into certain it may emit certain type of chemicals or certain type of gas or vapor which may be hazardous to human health hazardous to environment may produce certain type of gas which will be flammable in nature so that all things are also been tested by the imo before giving the basic approval okay and after that the physical and chemical property of the active substance and preparation means how what are the physical and chemical property of the active substance how the how the active substance prepare that is also been tested means you can see that what are the tenacity means the imo is undergoing before approving an active substance because they are very very much concerned about the environment the first thing is the balash water treatment system comes because to save the environment so if you are using any type of active substance and you are hurting the environment it will not be approved that is the common sense of g9 okay so basically in active substance as i have told you the toxicity test is carried out okay in toxicity means you active substance should not be toxic in nature second is the corrosion test means okay your active substance is very good you are using your active substance it is good for the treatment for g8 procedure complying with the d2 standard it is good for the human health but if it is toxic to the environment or to the aquatic mammals then it will be not environment friendly if your active substance is corrosive in nature it is corroding the tank is not good to go so these are all tests should also be conducted before giving an approval to the active substance now as i have told you the same is been shown here it how this is done one more thing i want to tell you that the type the basic approval and final approval which is been taken care by the mepc marine environmental protection committee and gsam they are taking care under the guidance of imo that whether your active substance is complying with the environment nature or not now this is the flow chart i have given you you can draw in your exam we show that this is the seabed test and land bed test for the g8 and this is the g9 procedure basic and final approval and this is the environment test after complying with all that you will get a type approval certificate if you are using an active substance the same thing if you want to go in detail you can draw this flow chart this is the basic approval and this is the final approval now this is very important that to to this flow chart we will try to understand that what we are undergoing so the first is the pre test evaluation manufacturer submit information on design construction operation function of balash water management system to the administration so basically first thing is that first thing you have to prepare a balash water treatment system means you have constructed a balash water treatment system you now so sure that okay i have constructed equipment which is complying with the d2 standard which can comply with the imo requirement after getting self satisfy you submit the review report and the test report to the administration now administration will ask you first simple two question first question is that does your balash water management system use active substance if you say no it doesn't use active substance it is using other technology other than active substance to treat balash water treatment plant then they will say okay now you prove through land based test and seabed test and environmental test so these tests you prove that you are complying with the d2 standard which is been set up by the im if you are if your balash water management system is complying with this standard okay you are good to go we will give you a type approval certificate 
and you can manufacture it and you can install on board seat that is the thing now the second question is asked if your ballast water management system is using active substance then you have to undergo this thing the first is the basic approval before getting the basic approval evaluation of potential discharge of active substance and preparation so it will undergo a full thorough testing of the review report test report and water toxicity test what are the corrosion test result all they will undergo after that they will give a basic approval then they will undergo this three test and after that they will also check is it it is not corrosive in nature it is not producing toxicity toxicity it is not generating any certain type of gas in anaerobic or anaerobic condition these are all will be checked again and again to make sure 100 percent proof that it is environmental friendly after that it will be given final approval and then you can get a type approval certificate so if we tell in a synopsis that okay what is g8 and g9 we can say the g8 guideline applied to all ballast water treatment system whereas g9 guideline is specified the guideline for the system that employ active substance or chemical the primary objective of G9 is to determine the impact of active substance on the marine environment. System that employ an active substance are required to undergo both G8 and G9 approval as I have said you earlier. System that doesn't employ an active substance are only required to obtain G8 approval. So I hope I have given you the clear idea that what is G8, what is G9 why do we require g8 and why do we require g9 when we will require g8 when we will require g9 what is the importance of both so after watching this video your concept regarding all this will be clear if you have still doubt please do comment below i will revert back if you are watching till now first of all i am very thankful to you to watch till end thank you for encouraging me the second thing i request to all of you please do subscribe before cutting the video before going to for another thing please do subscribe and please it will take only a minute to share like and you can share the our video also in your telegram in whatsapp in your facebook in your instagram whatever social platform you have please do share the video because our aim is just to bring all our marine personnel who want to know about this system please share the knowledge thank you friend have a good day